okay guys we can just work with radians to degree all, the, all I'm going to do is just passing this as radians to degree you have to write DEG here and let's try to put down some radian value now you have to supply radian values obviously so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fetch this number which was in radians and I'm going to pass it here so this would convert radian value radian value to degree value now you might be seeing something like this yeah this is always a 180 degrees which I have copied from there ampersand DEG semicolon which will give you an additional degree but I don't want to go for a space here so you might be seeing that here like this in the same way if I fetch this and repeat this and this time what I'm going to do is 60 degrees we have already got its radian values copy this and I'm going to pass it here the radian value of 60 and this will convert into degree you might be seeing that giving you 60 degrees in the same way we'll go for something like sine 90 degrees we'll just go for ampersand the G semicolon is equal to write down sine and pass it 90 degrees sine 90 degrees I believe it should be giving you one but this is not giving you one the reason is the argumented value cannot be passed in the form of degree you should be passing in the form of radians so you might be saying I don't have any 90 degrees so what I will do is I'm going to pass this here and I'm going to pass this with 90 degrees okay and I'm going to pass here 90 this would always convert degree the argumented value is degree in the form of radians let's try to see I've got this 90 degrees in the form of radians copy this radian value now pass this as a radian value which is equal to 90 degrees now here this is giving you sine 91 in the same way we will go for something like sine 45 sorry tan 45 tan 45 degrees if I could see I need tan this is not 45 just uh, let's try to not pass anything I'm going to comment this first first I need to go for a kind of what do you say is 45 degrees so what I will do is I'm going to push this with something like 45 degrees push it here for the visibility and you might be getting this radian value 45 degrees in radians copy this number paste it here now this is going to give you tan 45 in the form of radians I'm passing same but now I get one in the same way you might be also passing cos cos let's try to go for 60 degrees 60 cos 60 we have already fetched 60 degrees so I'm going to copy this radian value and I'm going to pass this as cos I'm going to push this value in the form of radians and this is giving you something like 1 by 2 1 by 2 divided it's going to give you 0 0.5 next thing we have is random value random value we can go with rand rand will take actually min max argumented value so this would make your random numbers in between the minimum value and the maximum value you supply let's try to say I'm supplying 1 and I'm going to supply 1000 so whatever the fetching out argumented output would be would be within 1 to 1000 if I go with 100 this would always give you 3 digits and 2 digits sorry 3 digits and 4 digits so if I refresh this page you can see I've got random numbers in between 100 we can always find that above 100 and 1000 so you can always see that random numbers are always being fetched now okay so this would always say take let's I can't just give you a lot of examples here we'll go for a very least number with the level least maximum numbers so if you could see I'm randomizing with in between 1 to 5 so you can see that it is taking a minimum value which is 1 and again it might be taking maximum value which is 5 but this would random in between 1 to 5 only okay so this is all about your math built-in methods and these are the following arguments you should be always remembering while handling your math subject so that's all for this particular subject guys and i hope you like this video and i'll get you on the next video bye